All right, welcome back to Hogley. So last time we talked to Sebastian, and then we came here to rescue Roland Oaks, which is an uncle of a classmate. Now we are continuing that search for Roland. Revelio. Okay, so I see some gobos. Accio. Expelliarmus. I will make it. Glacius. Defendo. Oh, that killed both of you. you nice. One less follower, Ranrock. He had three less followers in that specific instance. Alohomora. Oh. There we go. Right then. Ha, ah, Gabo. I don't know why I opened with a face and cast like that, but whatever. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Hmm? Did I... Did I see Roland or something? Not sure why Maximilian said that. I misread that as fingered. How how scarf? <laughs> Revelio. Okay, still try not to be gung ho with the unforgivables until I know where Roland is. Uh, did, no, that didn't hit the person I was trying to hit. It hit the dead one for some reason. Yeah, that did not do a lot of damage. Do you mind? There we go. Ooh, an actual upgrade. Wow. Been a while since I've had one of those. <laughs> right, so I'd be losing more damage with the Findo. And a little bit of defense in exchange for two more offense. Not much of an upgrade. In fact, I'm not going to use that. How does it look, though? Eh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with this one. Because it's upgraded. So it's a little bit better. Revelio. Don't think I could have picked up that ancient magic Boiling anyway. Door. How to open it? Probably with a nearby valve or something. What do we have here? Oh, that's just glass. I thought it was highlighted by Revelio. Ooh, gold. Those looked a lot more than piles of three each. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to question it too much. I am assuming I will find a valve over here. Confringo. Okay, well, I started this boiler. I guess I didn't need a valve, I just need to start the boiler. Ah, this is a crowded room. I won't rest. I 
Expelliarms. I won't rest. Enough of this nonsense. I won't rest. There are a lot of you. Okay, you know what? My camera was stuck again. That's happened to me a few times during this playthrough. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that Roland's not in here. I don't know why the game does that. It, it was locking on to nothing. You probably saw it when I cast Crucio. Because my camera was pointing the opposite direction of the beam. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? I think I did skip ahead a bit in the quest. <laughs> because I see the marker now is over... It, well, it was over that way, I think. <laughs> and I think I remember my first playthrough finding him and then having to find his wand and then bring it back. That was fancy. Revelio. Small games tables. So presumably I can make like a wizard's chess table. I don't remember which game it was, but there was this Harry Potter game for the PS2 that had a really fun wizard's chess mini game. I kind of wish that existed in this game too, because I rather enjoyed it and spent a lot of time playing it. It's funny though, I'm really not good at chess nowadays, so clearly none of my experience from that stuck. <laughs> Revelio. Chess is one of those games that I want to take some time to learn and actually get good at, but I just, for some reason, don't. Good Fringo. Competitive school. Cool. <laughs> You can hear the excitement in my voice upon finding that epic piece of loot. I wonder if I'd lead on. Akio. Do you mind? I won't arrest the moment. Confringo. Glacius. Defender. Whoops, that time that was on me. I pressed the lock button on accident. Akio. You can't stop us. Arresto momentum. I can and I will. Did I just see an option to Pertificus Totalis you? That's cool. Revelio. I think I found the man in, the man in question. Why am I searching a prison cell for loot? <laughs> Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. What's in it for me? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> thank Merlin, thank me. Well, thank one of us. That's a big top hat. <laughs> you did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin... You're either very lucky or very talented. Yes. How did you find me? 
I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Is it actually pronounced canut? I think it'd be like can, like knock, but then that's saying that they stole your nut, which is a little bit weird. <laughs> but I digress. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. I mean, to be fair, wizard kind do tend to treat goblin kind rather cruelly, and that is one example of many such instances. Doesn't mean we're all bad, though. Interesting to know, though. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. All right, well, at least we managed to help him out. I'm sure Adelaide would be glad to hear of it. Although I actually don't think I have a quest for that at the moment. Now, speak with Deke and meet Poppy. Uh, I kind of have to go to the room of requirement, even though I'm not really looking forward to another Deke quest. Might as well get it over with. <laughs> First things first, though, I have to find my way out of here. <laughs> Will my book give me any guidance? No. Well, I think it was this way, right? Yep. He shields his eyes from the night light. <laughs> from the moonlight would have been the trouble. more eloquent way to say that, I think. Ah, that didn't knock you off. Really? <laughs> really, really? Expelliarmus did not hit. <laughs> I find that a bit unbelievable. 
I find it even more unbelievable that the goblin managed to hit me once. <laughs> right, so room of requirement is in these secret rooms. Okay, at yeah, that, that time I would have understood Maximilian shielding his eyes because that was actually a bit of a flashbang for me IRL. <laughs> I am currently in a dark room at kind of night. It's 6.49 p.m. So that's why the sunlight was a bit of a flashbang. <laughs> Ooh, an upgrade. Two upgrades. All right, let's see what we've got. So we got another better scarf. That is a big improvement. Increased spell damage while concealed by disillusionment. We're not going to be using disillusionment, but that is a huge upgrade. So I am most willing to take it. Not really my color though. Let's get back to school colors. Okay, we're under leveled for this worse set of glasses, of course course that's also a pretty big improvement doesn't <laughs> that hat looks silly on me imperial <laughs> imperial target deals uh, extra damage we don't have imperio yet right anything in here nothing good okay now let's see if we can improve anything in the loom that we're wearing one of the few times I'll interact with a thing. Okay, view upgrades. Nope. 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 And we can't upgrade that because that's green tier. Oh well. Deek. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. Yeah, is that really necessary? I don't know, Deke. Sounds a lot of work. Can't I just carry on rescuing beasts? Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Okay, so we have to rescue some Thestrals then. Well, poach them in a friendly way. But I know it's a little bit shorter, but that's where I'm going to end this episode. I actually have to get my dinner. So, yeah, hopefully you don't mind the uh, slightly early ending. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Maximilian, look at the camera. Ah, oh, you fiend. Goodbye. <laughs>